Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lauren. I'm a reseller on Poshmark and Mercari, and in today's video, we will be doing a work with me. So I have a bunch of stuff to get done, and I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along kind of in a day of a life as a reseller. So yeah, if this sounds interesting to you, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing down below for more reseller content, and hopefully this video will either give you motivation to get some of your own tasks done, or you we can work together and just keep each other company. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I do have a whole list of stuff to do today. Uh, one of the things that is a daily task that I do every single day is packing sales. And one thing that I need to do today before packing sales is restock some of my poly mailers. I usually have a whole bunch up here, but I've actually run out. And so I placed an order, they came in and I need to restock that. Uh, that way I can ship more efficiently and just grab what I need and I'm not kind of scrambling around trying to look for poly mailers. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then right after that, we're going to pack sales. And then, I don't know, we have a whole bunch of other stuff to do. So let's just get right into it. Alright, that looks so much better. I think I ended up ordering 400 poly mailers, and so I'll be good for a little while. It's going to be so much easier just to grab the ones that I need. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and find all of my SKUs, mark everything sold on my spreadsheet, and then we can start finding all of the items that sold. All right, so we went ahead and got all of the items that we are packing up. So I did sell two phone cases. So I actually got these little poly mailer things from a person on Facebook, I think. Um, they were free and they fit phone cases perfectly. So I need two of those. And then I believe I'll need three of these. And then I will get some plain ones for my Mercari sales. So we'll do that and then get to packing. All right, so then over here, these are just the ones I use for Mercari. They're just plain. If you've seen some of my work with these before, you probably have seen these. These are linked in my description down below too, so if you are in need of any, they are linked for you. So like I said before, I don't have a fancy setup. I honestly just do it on my lap right here. So I do have all of my sales pulled up, and let's just get to packing. So the first thing that sold, it sold on Mercari, and it's this kid's Nike hoodie. So I was really in a mood to get rid of things yesterday, so I sent out an offer of $6. So definitely didn't make much profit on here. The nice thing about selling it on Mercari is I made 100% of the $6 since they don't have fees. So that was one plus, but... Alright, so just put it in the poly bag and then find the label right here. Confirm as sent. There's one. Alright, then the other Mercari one that I sold is a pair of shoes. These are a pair of Tom's shoes. These are in excellent condition. They sold for $18. So normally I don't put shoes in poly mailers, but since this is sold on Mercari, 
I'm definitely going to have to put it in a poly mailer because I don't have any other like boxes that aren't priority. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But I don't believe that these will get very smushed, so I think they'll be totally fine. Alright, let's find the label. Confirm as sent. Then for my Poshmark sales, like I said, I did sell two phone cases. So the first one is this really cute, like, pink one. And they, these actually were all my personal phone cases, and then I got a different phone, so they didn't fit. So I never ended up using this one. The brand is Berga. Uh, they retail for a lot of money. So I was just glad to get a little bit of my money back from these. But yeah, like I said, these fit, like perfectly in there so and they're padded so a little extra protection and then they do have a self-adhesive seal so so nice and then the second one that sold is the same one just a different print and it's this really cute like mint green colored one so I love selling phone cases um as long as they're like the newer styles and sizes I guess uh because if they're like super old then they don't sell for very much and they don't sell very quickly but if you have good trendy ones I love selling them they take up barely any space in the inventory system and usually you can make a pretty good profit on them so there's those two. And then the next thing that sold is some Nike leggings. These are the Pure Lux Nike leggings. They are cropped. These ended up selling for $20. I just fold them up, put them in the polymer. And then the last and final thing that sold are some Birkenstocks. So I'm actually going to grab a box really quick for them. This is what they look like. They are the clogs, like Boston's almost. So yeah, these ended up selling for $40. So let me grab a box really quick and then we'll pack these up. All right. So like I said, yeah, these sold for $40. Uh, the way that I just put them in the box is just like this. And I do have brown paper in there, and then I take another piece of it and crumple it on top. So then it looks like this, and then I tape it up. So that is pretty easy. And then my kit is in sale that I had. I did go ahead and pack up yesterday, just because I wanted to ship it same day. Uh, but yeah, I ended up selling a set of two baseball spanks for boys they were a youth size and i think they ended up selling for 25 dollars. so ended up having a pretty good day yesterday with sales was super happy about that all right so i'm just looking at my list here the next few things that we need to do are list 10 items cross post on vendu do my mercari tasks photograph redeem my balance so what should we do first I think I'm going to go ahead and redeem my balance. Sometimes I'm not the best at that. Sometimes I leave like about 500 bucks in there and then I redeem it. Uh, so I think I have a few hundred in there that I need to redeem. So one thing that I do that I don't really know if it's the most efficient is I go on my spreadsheet and basically make sure that the number on my spreadsheet adds up with what's in Poshmark because sometimes they don't mark things as complete and so then they like kind of short you some money and the only way to really know that is if you go into all your sales and like search by status I think is how you do it and so for me I just like to make sure that everything's like on time and all of that jazz and so I go, and it doesn't take too much time, but it is an extra step. I go in my spreadsheet and make sure that everything totals up. So that's what I'm going to do really quick. There's nothing really to show there, but I will meet you back here when I'm done with that. All right, so next we are going to photograph. So let's get to it. I think I'm going to try to photograph as much on the rack as I can. So let's start. <music>
Alright, I just photographed most of the rack. I had a few dresses left that I haven't done yet because I just had too much stuff on the floor around there and so I couldn't take pictures without seeing all the clutter in the background. But I think I got it done pretty quick. Uh, I got a whole pile here that now is going to need listed. So the next thing that I need to do today, the next thing that's on my list is to get 10 listings up um, and then hopefully some more drafts. So. That's just computer work, but we will speed it up and yeah, let's just get right to it. There we have it, 10 items. So I'm gonna put these away really quick. And then I think that is everything that we had other than cross posting, which all of that is just computer work. Uh, so yeah, I think we got a lot done today. Let's put these away really quick. Alright, well that concludes today's day of work. Like I said, I'm going to do a little bit of cross posting, but other than that, I had a pretty short work day, but we still got a lot done. So if this video motivated you or helped you get some things done that you needed to get done, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing down below for more reseller content, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!